So in late May, Capture One released 16.6, which is uh, a update that gave us a new looking session structure, which is the first time in several years that sessions have really been updated at all. And so I'm actually really excited to see that Capture One is still paying attention to sessions and that they're encouraging their use because I think they've added some actually really useful features. So the first thing I want to do is show you if you've updated any session that you've used in the past uh, to 16.6, they're going to look a little bit different. Um, this is a brand new session that I have open right now. And the first thing that we'll notice really is that shortcuts is here up in the top left hand corner in the library tool tab. Uh, this is not a section that was here before. Uh, it looks similar. It looks like the session folders, uh, which is what it's really replaced. Um, but what I like about this new section is that it's, again, it's called shortcuts because that's what these are and that's what these have always been in the top left hand corner, which has been kind of confusing for new users of Capture One simply because uh, these shortcuts look like they're folders. If I were to click this and even right click and show in Finder, um, it would point to a folder named Capture. This is pointing you in the direction of whatever folder is labeled as your Capture folder. It just happens to be by default a folder named Capture. Uh, so, and we can kind of see that now in the session folders section. So um, this is also uh, kind of a new feature. Session folders was here before, but it wasn't being used in the same way. So uh, session folders now actually is showing us exactly what's in the parent folder, uh, the parent session folder. And what I mean by that, well, I'll show you. If I right click the capture folder and select show and finder, I'm taken to the same spot. Uh, we see test session is the parent folder for this session. And if I make a new folder inside of this session, I'm gonna name this test folder we can look over to session folders and see that test folder has just been populated. So what this is saying is, what this is telling me is that session folders is now a live look at every folder that's within the parent folder. I love this. I think this is a great call because before we would have to use session favorites in order to link up new folders that we would make with Capture One. We'd have to drag folders from Finder into session favorites and then set those as capture selects or output, uh, or we'd have to go through system folders and do that here. Uh, but this way we can have everything self-contained inside the parent folder and we can see everything that's contained within that parent folder. So I'm actually quite happy about that. And likewise, if I were to uh, delete this folder um, from Finder, it's also deleted in the session folder section in the, in the session itself. I can also just create new folders in this way. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna title this folder test folder two. And we see test folder two, right click, show in finder. There's the new folder right alongside capture selects, output and trash. So this is really nice. Uh, I like this functionality. It makes perfect sense to me. Um, we're looking at what's within the session folder itself. Straightforward. Uh, you might have seen briefly, if you hit the plus button here, you have an add multiple folders line. So uh, this is a mirror essentially of the session builder, which is what we'll talk about uh, next. But basically, if you already have a session open, you can quickly add folders straight from Capture One using a delimiter, whether it's a new line or a space, semicolon, or, or commas. You can start typing in this box, look one, look two, and we can see the delimiter is a new line here. Look, three, and we can also see here that there is a, uh, there's an option to use a forward slash to create subfolders. So look, four, forward slash, change up one, and then we'll add another one, change up one A. And I can have a new space with a new folder, look, five, slash change up one. I'll then create those folders and they exist uh, outside of the capture folder, which is different from the session builder, by the way. But if I right click and show in Finder, we see look one, two, three, four, and five. If we look inside look four, there's change up one. And inside of change up one, there's change up one A. And so that's a very fast way to make subfolders uh, within the capture folder itself. 
So I love this functionality. These are straight and simple. They're not session favorites. Um, if something were to happen to them, if these were to accidentally be moved, uh, somehow you would see it immediately uh, change in the session folders area. So um, I, I think this is great functionality. I'm gonna just go ahead and remove these and remove test folder and we see them uh, disappear from session folders. Can't get easier than that, I love it. So now let's actually look at the session builder. We kind of just saw a preview of it, but it, the session builder works a little bit differently. So I'm gonna go to file, new session, and I'm gonna title this uh, session quick test. And we really don't see anything different except for the bottom here. We have the option to add capture folders. So I'm gonna uh, check this box and now we have the same option that we just had previously when we were adding folders within the session folder section here but this time every folder that we make and and subfolder are they're going to be placed within the capture folder uh, so let's do that now i'm just going to type in look one look two look three change up one change up one a I'm going to click OK, and we don't see them immediately in session folders like we did previously, but if we now see a chevron next to the capture folder. So if I expand that, we see look 1, 2, and 3. We see change up 1, and within that, we see change up 1A. So again, fantastic. If we were to right-click, show in Finder, uh, we see that same hierarchy, but it's within capture the capture folder itself. Look 1, 2, and 3, change up 1, change up 1A. So know that, like, like when I would make sessions before, I didn't love having folders within the capture folder. I just didn't like how that looked to me. I like having a capture folder empty so that if we need to, needed to quickly shoot into something, it, it, was, it made some sense. Um, this is fine, I don't mind this uh, at all actually. Um, but it is a slightly different way of working than the way I would work before. What I would probably do now is instead of using the session builder, I would probably just use the add multiple folders uh, button here and do what we did previously and have them alongside capture selects output and trash. But that's just my personal preference. Um, and what's also nice about this is that we can save uh, custom presets. So if you've, you've got your list down and you know you're gonna be using that again and again, uh, you can go to the hamburger menu and select save custom preset if you already have a preset. Um, you can that'll appear here uh, if there's one within the uh, application support folder. This kind of rounds out what's new with Capture One sessions. Actually, again, I really like that Capture One is paying attention to sessions and that they're giving us some tools to use and work with that are a little bit different, make things a little bit more efficient. There's also Capture One Studio, which is a, I mean, it's really more for high volume e-commerce and pe you know people that are in a studio setting that are kind of you know power users um, for most shoots capture one pro is going to be fine uh, the difference here uh, with the session builder is that you can actually use tokens to create subfolders which actually sounds great i would love to be able to do that but um, this is fine as well saving presets and etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh, all of that is great. Session favorites, uh, just real quick, works essentially the same as it did before. These are favorite folders that exist outside of the session folder that Capture One can quickly and easily get to. Those behave in more or less the same way. And then, if you're if you like using catalogs, you can import the session into a catalog. There is a video that I made about that uh, that you can watch to clear some things up. You can still, of course, do that in the newest uh, version of Capture One. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is useful. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have questions, let me know. If you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.